some of my best memories of baseball actually didn't happen on the baseball field. And one of our favorite family stories, and something that we hearken back to about non-baseball related things, came on a day that we were traveling to a tournament. It was about an hour away. Um, everybody on the team was meeting in a parking lot, and we were going to carpool, and people were dropping their kids off because it was an all-day, um, like, Saturday event. And here's what happened. We're sitting in the car. We had a Toyota Corolla. We always had Toyota Corollas. That was, like, my family's car, and there was a sunroof on that. And it's Saturday morning, I don't know, 8.30 in the morning, and we have an hour drive. There's not a lot of time between when we have to leave and uh, when we're going to arrive so that we can warm up. So everybody's kind of hurried. Uh, people are late. We're trying to wonder where people are. And my dad is in the front driving, and my mom is in the passenger seat. And I don't even, I think Jason Lucy was in the car with me, but it may have been somebody else. And I was sitting in the back seat. And I'm a sarcastic family. We make jokes and shoot the shit and um, sort of basically engage in that sarcastic warfare. And my mother was sitting in the front seat and we were kind of getting nervous about when we were going to leave and if we were going to get there. And my mom was trying to lighten the mood. And she turns around and looks and says, what do you think the odds of a bird pooping through the sunroof and hitting nothing but my hair? And I shit you not, as the last words came out of her mouth, a bird shit on my mother's head. And we immediately, uh, in the back seat, like, we burst into, like, dying, dying laughing. And she is mortified by this. Um, and also not really believing that this thing happened. And so it's my mother, and I love her, and I'm, you know, but you can't help but laugh about that. And she sort of, like, hand to see if this is a thing that really happened, um, which it did, and... My father's trying to solve this problem. Like, how, like clearly your mom can't go to the baseball game with shit in her hair. Because my mother, like, she, she did her hair. Like, it was a thing. Like, you couldn't just make that go away. And so she was going to have to go home. So now she had to figure out how was she going to get home? How was she going to um, get that cleaned up? And then would she be coming back to the field? Meanwhile, uh... I think it was Jason and I, and like I had to get out of the car laughing so hard. Um, because of course I'm saying like as the shit hits her and she goes, what are the odds? I'm thinking like one, one to one, like the odds are exactly what they would be. And so for years after this, anytime the family would be sitting around or anytime we'd be having a discussion and anytime the idea of like, what are the odds? We would immediately harken back to the bird shit day because we just thought like this is not a thing that we should really test the fates on because the one time that we tried, the one time that my mother brought this up, um, the fates said, well, we're going to shit on your head. And so this sort of became a family story about why we don't um, tempt the fates because when you do, you will get shit on. And that's when I think about baseball, when I think about um, the relationships that I had with my family and I think about uh, the fun that we had and the bonds that we had. Like, that's, like, it's not just about being on the field. It was the time that we spent together and the memories that we created while we sort of went from game to game and practice to practice and all of this time that the game takes, the slow pace and things of that nature, like, allow these kinds of things to happen. So if you're interested in being part of the story, um, please send me your email. Um, you can send it to me privately. You can post on our page here. Uh, we'll be getting in touch with you. And I want to hear the stories that you have about your family and your friends and the ways in which baseball shaped the relationships in your lives. Until the next time, I'll see you around the internet.